Hi there, it's Ashton here. Welcome back to the channel. So lovely to have you stop by. I want to walk through a sketch note that I literally just completed of a blink from the book Braving the Wilderness by Brene Brown. And I want this just to sort of be like an insight on how I captured it, what I did, how I did it, and what it meant to me. So if you're new to the channel, um, I do lots of different videos on sketch noting, visual note taking, uh, my graphic recording business, and some behind the scenes things. And I thought it'd be really fun today to walk through um, just uh, a short audio that I just listened to. It's a summary of the Brene Brown book, Braving the Wilderness. And if you're not familiar with Blink or Blinkist, just looking on my phone, make sure I'm saying this right, um, it's an app that you can listen to summaries of books, which is pretty great. And I uh, have read some of Brene Brown and I'm a huge fan of her, but I haven't read Braving the Wilderness yet. So I thought it might be fun to choose this one to, to draw through. Um, and Blinkist is kind of cool because you don't have to read through the whole book to get the key insights or the key ideas. So, um, so I literally just finished this, so I wanted to walk through uh, pieces of it so that you can kind of, uh, I just want to talk through my logic of how I created the sketch note. Um, the blink was, how long was it? I think it was 15 minutes. Can I play it without it starting over? It was about 15 minutes. If it wasn't exactly, it was around 15 minutes. I created this graphic within that 15 minute period. I didn't add anything else to it. And you'll see that I have some mistakes and some incomplete things, but I just wanted to, to show you what I would create it in the 15 minute time frame. So the only thing that I started with was the title. So Braving the Wilderness um, and her name, that's all I captured at the very beginning. I decided that I wanted to do it in a mostly green color palette because of the wilderness. I thought it'd be really fun. Kept the title really uh, sweet and simple. Um, and I started here and they talked about how people generally have this feeling of not wanting to be alone. Um, so I drew this little person and I, and I captured that as well. And then if you, if you follow the, the flow of this kind of goes this way this way, um, but you might not, it doesn't necessarily matter, I think, for this one to understand the flow, but just so you know. So I captured, um, so the next part they talked about, we are all searching for a sense of belonging, and there was a bunch of words around that, and there was some personal stories and anecdotes, but I chose not to capture any of that, because I really wanted to capture the really high-level key takeaways and not get into any specific stories of Brene Brown. Um, even though they were really uh, insightful, uh, I didn't feel like it would add anything or add a lot of impact to the overall drawing or the overall sketch note. So I decided to hold off. So while they were talking, um, while they were going in a little bit of her story, I decided just to embellish this little bit and finish my little person drawing and all of that. Um, and then it went into, so I've got a line that connects these two ideas because we've got belonging, which I both captured them both in green. So what about belonging? Um, I wrote with ourselves, but then they were saying more to ourselves. So I put a little slash, I snuck a little slash two in there and I did some lines. Um, but then she ta talked about this idea of writing yourself permission slips. So I turned those lines into a pencil. That was what I call, uh, that's when I called channeling Bob Ross's uh, happy little accidents. That little pencil was a happy little accident for sure. So I turned those lines into a pencil and I wrote a little thing. Um, and then she met Maya Angelou and her, the thing that Maya Angelou had said to Brene was don't be moved. Um, and I didn't want to spell her name wrong. So I just started it and I'll just, I was just going to come back to and finish it later. Um, and then it talked about that this next part was really content heavy. So I didn't get all of the main points I think that I would have liked to get down. But then it went into kind of braving your own wilderness. I started with the trees. I wrote down very quickly unknown people challenging and unique paths. And then how to do those things. I put them in little signposts. Listen, have difficult conversations and trust. Um, and then I, I came back and put braving your own wilderness in there a little bit later. And then there was a whole bunch of things about trust, but it went by so fast that I didn't capture any of that. 
Um, but that key takeaway there at the end, she sort of said, uh, kind of summarized herself, the narrator, and said, how much do I trust myself and others? So I would have probably liked to connect these a little bit better. Um, but, you know, it is what it is when you're doing this in 15 minutes. Um, and then it kind of went into this. There was a whole bunch of stuff on chronic loneliness and who we surrender surround ourselves with. She did mention about how we're divided. Now, I know I have little typos in here, but that's fine. Um, I don't get hung up, especially if it's something for myself on little typos. I know that that says permission. I know that says divided. It's not a big deal. I probably have something else spelled wrong as well. And um, so she was talking about chronic loneliness. So I decided to, I had some space here. So I thought I would finish off the graphic on the, in this bottom corner. Um, but I kind of felt like we are divided, could fit nicely. And I had a little bit of space by this person. Um, so I, I thought those kind of two ideas would make sense to kind of go together. And I had some space. And that's why I like to leave space and not draw and write things right on top of each other because it allows for things like that to kind of sneak in other ideas that relate back to previous ideas. So I snuck that up there. And then um, with chronic loneliness, I probably could have made these connect a little bit better. But maybe something like this, the very minimum, uh, to combat that we don't give in to anger and we have firsthand experiences. And she talked about neighborly. I think I've spelt neighborly wrong. I don't know. Neighborly compassion and some little hearts. And you can see I didn't color those in perfectly. I just kind of wanted to make them a little sketchy and fun. And then they went on and on and on, a little bit about anger. So I decided to pull away one of the key main takeaways I felt was um, anger. So we've got circled here. Anger can be a powerful force for positivity. And I can see here that I have another little typo <laughs> full of typos. See, these are the things you can go back and fix later. There was also some comments about music around the wilderness. Um, so I didn't capture any of that, but I just decided to plug in some music notes to kind of as a friendly reminder of like, oh, right, she mentioned a bunch of songs about wilderness. And then that way I could always go and search those later if I wanted to. Um, it wasn't necessarily crucial to like the key takeaways, but I thought it would be fun to kind of capture a couple music notes. And I'm a music lover and player, so I thought it would be fun to capture some of those. And I decided to kind of make this little piece. I think I would have liked to do the trees and the path a bit differently. Maybe make the path kind of go into a direction. Um, but I kind of decided to make this almost like into a little bit of a landscape with some like little clouds and stuff. So would I add lots of things to it? Certainly. Would I change things? Definitely. Um, but this is at first blush, 15 minutes. Uh no stopping. I think I, no, that's a lie. I went back. I think it was around this part. I can't remember. I went back 30 seconds. So I, I tried not to, to stop it at all, but I did skip back 30 seconds and listen to one other little one piece. I think that went by really quickly. I can't. Oh, I think it was this actually, because I wanted to quote that properly. The do not be moved. Um, so I, I went back 30 seconds to make sure that I wrote that down properly because I knew that, that I wanted to make sure I captured that. Um, but yeah, so this is just a quick sketch note of Braving the Wilderness by Brene Brown. Um, if you have any questions about the sketch noting process or anything else, I hope this was some insight on why I captured what I did, how I captured it. I would love it if you go and listen to the blink yourself and see what resonates with you. Um, things are always going to resonate differently for each person in terms of what they would capture. Um, and for sketch noting, it's about what resonates mostly with you. So uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you're interested in kind of learning this skill, you can go to sketchnote101.com and pick up a free PDF guide. It's nice, short, and sweet. Kind of gives you some high-level uh, insights and then you can compare and you can look at that and combine it with this if you like this video um, as well as looking I'm looking for beta readers for my upcoming sketch note book so I would love to have you please email me at my email address in the description below and I would love to have you as a beta reader for my upcoming book for sure
All right, until the next video. Oh, if you like these types of videos and you want me to do more of these kind of walkthroughs, please let me know. I wanted to do this one just to see how people liked it. And um, if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe. And I think that's it. I think that's all I have to say. All right, I hope you have an amazing day and we'll see you on the next video.